This lesson is about writing function rules using guess, check, and generalize, and this specifically is applied to word problems. It can be difficult sometimes to look at a word problem and write an equation or a function rule to solve the problem, but it's often much easier to check a solution if one is given to you. So that's what guess, check, and generalize is all about. We make a guess at a solution, go through the process of checking that solution, and we keep tabs on what math we use to check the solution. It's then sometimes much easier to look at our math and write a function rule to then solve the problem. So let's see a couple of examples of how that works. In the first problem, you have 100 feet of fence to enclose your garden, and the garden is 10 feet wide. How long must the garden be to use up all of the fence. Now in this case we're going to let our unknown x be the length of the fence and this variable represents the quantity that we're trying to find. Now the first step of guess check and generalize is to guess. Now we're going to make a wild guess. It doesn't even matter if it's close. We're just going to make it and check it. So let's say that our first guess is 5. How do we find the perimeter of the fence? The perimeter of the fence is going to be 10 plus 10 here and if this is 5 then it's going to be 5 plus 5. So we will write 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 and according to our problem that has to equal 100. Now notice that when I wrote this, I wrote down each of the numbers. I didn't add them up in my head. I wrote them down first. That's what's called delayed evaluation. We don't evaluate this. We write it down first. Now, 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 equals 100. Uh, no, that's not true. So 5 is not a solution. This is not correct. But that's okay. Let's take another guess. Let's guess 8. Now in order to check 8, 8 is going to be 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 and that has to equal 100. Well, Let's check that. 10 plus 10 that's 20, 8 and 8 is 16, 20 plus 16 is 36. Nope, that doesn't work either. Now we're going to make a guess and x is going to be our guess. Now let's look at what we did. First we added 10 plus 10 and then we took our guess x and we added x and x and then that had to equal 100. If we simplify this equation 10 plus 10 is 20 x plus x is 2x and that equals 100. There's our equation, and that's what we need to solve. Now let's go and solve it. And there's our solution. x equals 40. Let's just check to see whether that's correct. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 40 is 60, plus another 40 would be 100, so this solution is correct. You can estimate how far away a lightning strike is by finding the time between when you see the lightning and when you hear the thunder. You'll see the light instantaneously, but the sound, the thunder, travels at about one mile every five seconds. Now if the time between lightning and thunder was 12 seconds, about how many miles away was the storm? So we'll start by making a guess and then seeing how we check the guess. So let's make a guess of one mile. If it's one mile every five seconds, then if the thunder is one mile away, we multiply that by five seconds for each mile, and we should get 12. Do we? No, we don't. So one is not correct. Let's try two. So to see how many seconds that would be, that would be 2 times 5 seconds. Does that equal 12? 
No, it does not. Let's have uh, one more guess. Let's say we thought it was 10 miles. 10 miles times 5 seconds, does that equal 12 seconds? No, that does not. So that's incorrect. Now, let's guess x miles. Well, if we look at our computations, we took the miles, we multiplied it by 5, and that should equal 12. Well, now we have our equation, 5x equals 12. And x, our distance, equals 12 over 5, or 2.4 miles. Now let's check. 2.4 times 5, so 5 seconds per mile, and that will get you 12 seconds, so the answer is correct. A television screen has an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. That means that the width of the screen is 16 ninths times the height. A television screen has an area of 1,296 square inches. What is the height of the screen? Let's make some guesses and we'll see what happens. So we're going to guess, let's say, 10 inches. Now, if the height is 10 inches, and we'll say if the height, kind of do this as a table, the height is 10 inches, it says here that the width is going to be 16 ninths times the height. So we'll take 16 ninths times the height, which is 10 inches, and then the area is going to be the product of those two. So 10 times 16 ninths times 10 is going to be the area of 1296 square inches. And you will find that this is not correct. That 10 times 10 times 16 ninths is not 1296. Let's try another number. Let's start with 20 inches. If the height is 20 inches, the width is 16 ninths times 20 inches. And if we multiply those two together, we get the area. And is the area 1296? Well, if you do this on this, this on your calculator, you will find that it is not. Now that we've guessed 10 and 20, let's guess x. Okay, so if our height is x, then our width is 16 ninths times x. And if we multiply these two together, the area should be 1296 square inches. And there's our equation. Let's work it out. x times 16 ninths x is 16 ninths x squared and that equals 1296. So we'll re rewrite this equation on top. 16 ninths x squared equals 1296. We know that we could multiply by the reciprocal of 16 ninths on both sides. That's 9 sixteenths. And there we have x squared equals 729. And if we square root each side, we will get x equals the square root of 729, and that equals 27. So 27 is the height of the screen, and that's what we were looking for. And just for a review, here's the process again. We make a guess at a solution, sometimes two or three guesses. We check each guess and we use delayed evaluation. We don't add up or subtract or do any arithmetic. We write down the whole computation 
And then, after we've done that a couple of times, we guess x and write a function rule and then solve the problem. Now while this method is different from the method explained in the book, you can use guess, check, and generalize for any of the problems that are listed in the book. Good luck!